Welcome back to the Chad Easty Show on News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. An open line Friday, much to get into throughout the show, your text messages, your phone calls as well. But before we get into all of those, we're going to make you hungry. If you're looking for somewhere to go for lunch, uh, either today, dinner tonight, this weekend, uh, we recommend going by the Pecan Grill over at the Overton Hotel. Joining us in studio, uh, we have uh, Executive Chef uh, Doug Nixon and uh, Sarah Northy, a uh, new Executive Sous Chef uh, over at the Pecan Grill. Welcome to the studio. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much for having us. Ab- absolutely. Appreciate y'all stopping by today. Uh, uh, I know uh, for Sarah, uh, it was just announced that uh, you're the new executive sous chef uh, over at uh, Pecan Grill. What does that mean? It means that I take direction from this <laughs> wonderful man right here. Yeah. And, uh, and and for those, you know, maybe who who haven't been to the Pecan Grill in a while, we'll talk about what, what's what's new and, and what's happening over at uh, over at the Overton. Well, we've always got a lot going on. Uh, Right now, we are getting ready for a brand new menu, and that's the the biggest thing. Um, It was a huge move uh, getting Sarah to come to uh, be with us, be part of the team. And we're trying to get um, new people to come in and new, uh, new things just developed. And bring new, uh, more things to the area. How, how do you kind of settle on a new menu? Because when you do an, I guess, an overhaul, and that's kind of, I guess, what you're kind of looking at doing. There's, there's a lot to really go into a new menu, right? Absolutely. Yes, we're we're trying to go a lot more local, and so based on the season, we're trying to do it every season now. Okay. And so we've been sort of practicing. Um, we've both come up with with several new things, new dishes, and we've been trying them out on on specials and things like that. So far, what's the favorite? Oh gosh, this is a point of contention. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's always, uh, we're always looking for the seafood thing that'll hit or right. something, you know, and the steaks and everything, they just take off naturally yeah. around this area. Um, so we're looking for that one unique thing that we can get in there and, and that people just keep coming back for. You know, so we're, and it doesn't have to be the steak or seafood or, you know, whichever. It's just something that a signature dish that somebody keeps coming back to get. Yeah. How long have y'all been working on the menu and and how long does that take to to really overhaul something that you want people to come in and and just be wowed by? Well, it's it's an ongoing process. We are constantly just doing um, new things for the specials and and trying things out we even try things out on the sunday brunches mm-hmm. um so just to see what people will will come in and get and and how things go yeah sarah tell folks a little bit about your experience because you've been at you know some restaurants here in lubbock we were talking about it during the break that have been really really uh great restaurants and and i know you've traveled overseas you've been all around the state tell folks a little bit about your background and how that's kind of helped your coming, you know, helped your experience? Well, I started at a little place called Mana, which we were just talking about. Yeah. Uh, that was my mom's restaurant that she opened. I was a teenager at the time. I kind of grew up with that restaurant. Then opened a couple of spots of my own. One of them was called Pickle and the Pig, little sandwich shop downtown. And another one was called Brunch at Stonegate inside of a, an old golf course. Yeah. And uh, most recently, King Street Pub and Queen of Tarts Bakery. Uh, which are still open, still thriving, doing well, and they're uh, being run by my mom, who's the chef there now. Um, so th- that's kind of how I got my start. I guess it's been about 15 years. These guys must be crazy to have me on, but uh, it's been a whole lot of fun, huge learning experience, and I've only been there about a month at the Pecan Grill. How long does it you know, take you to, to, to put together you know, maybe a, a new dish or, or you know, to, to come up with the creative process? Because I think for you and, and the restaurants that you named off, they're all creative. They're all, you know, there, there's something different uh, about all of them. You know, how long does that kind of take you to, to come up with new ideas and, and, and new things? Well, sometimes it's as simple as sort of walking through the pantry and seeing what we have, seeing what we can find, which is great about the Pecan Grill because it's, we have everything at our fingertips. Um, so much food and so much space and so much equipment that I'm not used to. And I'm just thrilled yeah. every time I walk in there. So, and he's, he's, an encyclopedia of knowledge. So every day I'll go ask him what he thinks about this dish or how to prepare this food. And, 
and it just comes together beautifully most of the time. Yeah, that's, that's great. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, pecan grill over at the Overton Hotel. Uh, what do people know is, uh, need to know as far as uh, you know? Great times to stop in for dinner, for lunch, uh, and you talked about brunch as well. Correct. Yeah, we have we are open uh, starting at six thirty a.m. And we do the breakfast buffet, and we also have the a la carte breakfast. And then again for lunch, the lunch goes from 11 to 2, and that is also a, a lunch buffet. And that lunch buffet goes Monday through Friday. Um, and that, again, is 11 to 2. And then Sunday brunch is, is from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., um, and then again, there's the breakfast buffet all all day on Sunday to go, and then also a la carte breakfast. Um, and then the dinner runs from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. in the dining room, and then it's still open till we are still open till 1 a.m. Mm-hmm. in the lounge area. That's right. And uh, the I know the the new menu that you're working on. When do you think uh, you'll be debuting that? Our shoot date is still uh, the beginning of April. Okay, that's great. Uh, hey, uh, you know, the Pecan Grill over at the Overton, easy to get to, uh, you know, and if you're going in during business lunch, if you're going in for dinner, it's a uh, great, great experience, and uh, we appreciate uh, appreciate both of you all for stopping by today. Thanks, Chad. Yeah. Thank you very much. Chad, AC Show, KFYO.